Oh boy, look what just came. It arrived from Japan. Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, turn it this way. That's the artwork on the box. It's uh, basically legendary Godzilla. And he is fighting Kong from the movie Godzilla vs. Kong. This was an entire set. It was these two figures, and you get several uh, DVDs and Blu-ray discs of the movie, and then you get some posters and things like that. But I bought this used, and all I got was the two figures, so that's all I'll be reviewing today. But they did give me these two cool boxes with it. There's like a plastic clamshell inside the box that holds the two figures very securely, but I have already taken them out, so I'll show you the all right, here are the two figures. <laughs> now, we'll do the Kong first. I already have this King Kong, but without the axe. It's the uh, movie monster series uh, Kong. But this one, the only thing that really separates this one is that the paint is a little bit darker. And he does have an articulated wrist joint. And the axe, which I, it doesn't come out. It's permanently in his hand. But you can turn the wrist and make him like pose it in different positions. And of course, the arm can go up or down. But yeah, sorry about the lighting. It's not very good today. But it's basically the same King Kong. Or Kong, whatever you want to call him. Really good looking paint. And now he has the one articulated fist holding the axe, which is painted very well with like metallic kind of frost blue. So that looks really good. And some people had some paint on the top of the hand, but mine doesn't have it. It looks nice and clean. But yeah, basic figure. Uh, and see, I turned his legs. He does have belly kind of waist articulation he has wrist articulation on the one hand and he has the two shoulder joints that can do 360 and that's it okay the next figure is the legendary godzilla and it is exactly like the other legendary godzilla that they made except for one thing the entire sculpt is made out of translucent translucent blue vinyl and then they just did a black wash like over the legs and over the body and part of the face but there's lots of cracks and seams in the black that let the blue show through so it really gives that look like godzilla is charging up and getting ready to use his atomic breath on kong and the light shines through the translucent and it looks just gorgeous like this lighting is really not doing it justice but this is probably the best movie monster series godzilla to date i mean this thing then it has the metallic kind of frost blue done inside of it and a little bit on the dorsal plates in addition to them just being translucent, and wow, it is something. It has 360 movement on the hips, both legs, 360 movement on both shoulders. So that's it. You got four points of articulation. You might be able to break the glue seam there and turn the tail if you wanted to, but why would you? And yeah, it's just done in translucent blue with a black paint, black dry brush paint on top, and it does look good, really good. Just to give you an idea of how that looks. And this one I've customized a little bit. Like I did a little work on his fins. Add a little more color. But yeah, this is pretty much the original one beside the, the new translucent one. But that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it.